Hi YouTube, per you, mm, my camera looks like shit. Oh, I think I just made it worse. Oh my god, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Susan. Alright, give me a second, just rip a little piece of this tissue here. Okay. Wow, is that a fucking pimple? Wow, I didn't even notice that. Jesus. Anyway, so I wanted to come on here because, okay, look, I took my nails off, right, and my hair is in a puff ball. Um, it's Friday night, and I'm in the house with my children, so I don't really care uh, how I look. Um, every time I come on here, I really don't care how I look. But I guess I'll start this off as normal. So we might have some connection issues, as you already know, guys. All right? That is nothing new. Um, I wanted to come on here. Normally, I would do, like, um, natural hair products that I'm using. I would do that on my um, on my Facebook Live. But I figured I'd just come on here and, you know, do, you know, mention it here. And I might mention it on my Facebook Live, but I'm going to mention it here first. You know what I'm saying? You'll hear it first from me. But um, I'm still in the market for a deep conditioner that is just fucking amazing. Um, well, no, I'm not. There's two deep conditioners that are fucking amazing. All right. The first one. No, you're good. Finish playing with your toys. Finish playing with your toys. Um, the one is Shea Moisture Restorative Mask. I forgot what it's called. And the other one, which when I first used it, it sucked balls. No, put the water back. Stop. Do you want to be in timeout? Do you want to be punished? No. Then you need to play with your toys like I told you to. Okay, so um, the other one is the um, Mayel uh, Mint and Babasu Oil. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that one, um, when I first used it, it was like protein overload. But again, I took and I... I deep cleaned my hair with that and then went right back in with like a protein type of leave-in. And I think that's why my hair felt like straw because when I stopped using the leave-in and just used like the deep conditioner, my hair felt amazing. I would, I would use it every two weeks like I was supposed to. And it was just, you know, it was just like the right amount of every time I get on here. Can you just relax? You're tired. Why don't you just lay down? Shush! Give him that to play with. That let him play with that. Get, yes, yes. So um, that just had my curls like gone. My hair was strong. Not saying that my hair not strong now, but like my ends felt good. My hair just amazing. You know, it's it's it was nice, but I couldn't continue. I didn't want. It's not that I couldn't, because I could, but I didn't want to, and I don't want to. But I guess I'm gonna have to because they even set the bar high on deep conditioners for me. Um, thirteen ninety nine for like a little teeny jar. Um, no, chill out. Go play, cause you're about to get ready to go to sleep. Because it's getting late. Sit down and play with your toys. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I just, I couldn't fathom paying $13.99 for that little jar of, you know, deep conditioner, like, I mean, I know you only use it, or you're supposed to only use it every two weeks, but it's just like, you get like two tablespoons of fucking deep conditioner, and I, that's what gets me with this whole natural hair community, like, they come out with this shit, and don't get me wrong, it's it's nice stuff that, you know, you're putting in your hair, like, you know, it's, it's doing your hair great, 
but they give you a dab of it. And I understand the whole point, the whole marketing strategy is to get people to continue to buy it like over and over and over and over and over again. But at the same time, you just like, damn, like I'm chalking out $14, $15 a pop. Like I could probably get two or three uses out of it. Well, we'll say three uses out of it. Four if I scrape the bottle with my hair. You know, stick my hair in the bottle and swoosh it around. But it's just like I'm I'm paying I would have I would end up paying like thirty dollars, twenty eight, thirty dollars just to have a month's supply of it. Or well no, because I use it every two weeks, but like, you know, it just all I'm saying is, is I just didn't want to do that. So they had a buy one, get one for um their silk elements products so i bought two deep conditioners or you know, two treatments uh to test them out see how they go so what i did was is oh well let me tell you what they are the first one is the renourish jojoba oil moisturizing treatment with biotin and silk sorry it's not really uh go play no, go play. Cause you're, what you're doing now don't make no sense. And then the other one is the Mega Silk Olive Moisturizing Treatment with Avocado and Silk. So what I did was to test them out, I took a little teeny bit of each one, mixed it together on one side of my head, then on it I used the uh, jojoba oil one. All right. When you mix them together, they fucking suck. Okay. They fucking suck. They suck. Um, the jojoba oil one, as a deep conditioner, it fucking sucks. It really freaking does. Um, it says it's for relaxed and natural. Relaxed and natural for overprocessed hair. Uh, deep conditioning treatment helps strengthen, nourish, and repair dry damage hair and restore moisture now it sucks and this 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 is gonna sound really bad this is gonna sound really really bad now it i think it might work if you add heat now with my hair i don't know what type of ferocity i have i don't i don't divulge myself into that because i just i don't think i had a patience for that but go sit down. Go sit down. Um, yeah, so I don't divulge myself into high porosity, low porosity, low porosity. I don't do that. But if a deep conditioner is good, um, you don't have to necessarily add heat, for, at least for me. If it's a good deep conditioner or like a deep conditioner that my hair likes, I don't have to add heat. My hair will just you know, take the deep conditioner and be like, wow, this is some good shit. It'll drink it up. But this sat on my hair. It legit sat on when I just, you know, washed my hair, got out, you know, got out the shower and my hair was still damp. I put it in. It just sat on my hair. But when I use it as a co-wash in the shower, it did really well as a co-wash. So I'm assuming that you have to add heat with this, like no matter what type of fucking hair you have, it's best to just add heat with this one. Um, I don't have a hot head, I don't have a, I used to have a sit under like the hooded dryer, I don't have that, I don't know what the fuck happened to it. I probably lost it in a move, but um, I don't have those things. Uh, I put the plastic cap on my head and I generate the heat. Gener I'll generate the heat. Generate the heat, you know, greenhousing or whatever. But it's just, I just, no, I don't, mm -mm. no. I've used it twice already. What? Stop, stop, chill out. Now, the other one, the um, I Love Moisturizing Treatment. This one is like super super thick let me see if i can take the top off of this because it's starting to get dark in here it's like it's super like it's like custard it's really thick 
and both of these have like heavy scents. It smells like perfume. Um, this one, the second time using it, the first time using it, I was not wild by this at all. Like, I would never buy these again. Um, I'm gonna use them because I'm trying to, you know, use them up. But I would never buy these again. But there was no wow effect with it. But like the second time using it, my hair slurped it up. I guess my hair was on some shit and felt the need to, you know, slurp it up because it was hungry or thirsty. But my hair slurped it up and, you know, it conditioned okay. I wasn't wild. It wasn't nothing that I would like, oh, girl, you gotta go out and get this. This shit is gone. Like, no, because at this point, no, it's just, uh uh. That, um, that could be. It's really, these are not all that. So, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna hop up over here. Oh, I didn't show y'all the consistency of the other one. The other one is really thick, but it's like, um, it's kind of open in one hand. It's not as, uh, it's more of a creamy. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell that other one has avocado in it. But the ingredients for these, jojoba oil ain't even the fifth ingredient on this shit. Like, for real. It's like all the way at the bottom of the list. So technically, a whole bunch of other shit and then avocado in it. You know, they can say that that's what's in it. But long story short, guys, it fucking sucks. I wouldn't buy it anymore. Um... I'm going to find a way to use it all, I guess, but I'm going to have to get me, I, I'm just going to have to find me another deep conditioner because this shit is really ridiculous. Seriously, this shit is definitely ridiculous. But it's been real. Enjoy your Friday. Um, enjoy your Father's Day weekend. Um, you know, let dads be dads, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Let dads be dads, let kids enjoy, the, you know, let them build their relationships with their dads. Don't be a bitter bitch, because that's not cute. Not cute at all. But, you know, if your baby daddy is not in your child's life, because they don't want to be, dress up like a dude, and be daddy for the day. I'm just saying, but it's been real, guys. Enjoy your Friday.